Hello everybody, this is Yadang here once again, and what do you know, we've been in a lowball figure craze recently, so why don't we continue with the lowballing, because today we're going to look at another less than spectacular figure that's even more kind of forgettable. We're going to go take a look at the uh, Ultra Monster series, Fire Zeton, all the way from the Artistic Grand Prix from 2013 or 2014 or whatever, no, 2011. Um, but yeah, uh, some interesting backstory on this one. Um, there's the whole package. This was designed by a, what I think it's a four-year-old child back in 2010, 2011, at, because he won the, uh, Zeton, the Bandai Zeton Design Grand Prix. So his figure got made into an action figure form. And you know what? Um, yeah, let's, let's stop rambling and let's take a look at it. First up on the list of things is the tag. It is a EX figure. Um, it has a artist rendition of the child sketch. Which obviously is not good enough to be featured on this tag, which I would have enjoyed to see his ta his you know original illustration actually on here. Thanks, Bandai. Um, but you know what? As a regular illustration done by one of those Bandai professionals, it doesn't look too bad. Fire uh, Zetong. Yeah, it's a tag. Whatever. And here's the sculpt. Um, is it good? That's a rhetorical question because you can't really gauge how good it is because the original drawing was 2D anyway. It never actually made an appearance in anything. Which is why I think this is a really throwaway design which I think looks really cool. Um, it's got a nice looking face. It's got definitely a very unique looking face for any Zeton type monster. Please focus. Come on. You know, for a Zeton type monster, this actually does look like a very unique face. Now, Bandai had to go kind of ruin the design due to toy safety regulations by filling this part in with silver. Um, but, yeah, it's it's a nice looking design. The sculpt is nice where it is applicable. The um, the skin is very coarse. The, uh, the bright light bulb, what used to be boob areas, are very smooth. Um, the blade is very nice looking with a very nice coat of silver on it. Uh, but the paint job is lacking, which I will talk about. The spikes are nice, and the legs are nice, chunky, and fat. Yes, that's right. It is nice, chunky, and fat. Paint job-wise, it is not a very, it's not um, a hundred percent spot on, mainly because Bandai again has you know the Bandai QC problem. So I have paint scuffs on the chip, a chip on the nose, which sucks. A chip on the bottom piece of the chest design. And, um, but those are chips, but what, oh, and on the back, all oh, the spikes are chipped. But, um, the big problem that I have with this sculpt is because there is not a lot of paint job to begin with, and they had to go ahead and screw with the blade anyway. Now, the blade has some really nice looking flame designs on it, but the problem is we just have this one big lazy, um, Ferrari red, I guess. I don't know what color it's supposed to be. Ferrari red streak on the blade. It doesn't even go into any of the flame designs, which really, really bothers me. There's not a lot of paint on this thing to screw up, and they somehow screwed it up anyway. Articulation on this figure is not going to give you a lot of hurrahs either, because it is very basic, and just like his cousin, uh, Gankyu over here, he fails pretty miserably at being a well-articulated figure. Now, there is a glue seal here, and I have no doubt that it's going to turn, but the problem is, if you actually break it, it kind of destroys the front chest so sculpt. It's kind of the exact same issue as, uh, what's his name, as EX Zeton, because if you've seen Ultraman Chronos or anybody else's review of it, you know that the, the two shells on the back have this ugly gap on it, and that's kind of the same problem here. So if you break this glue, glue seal here, uh, you're going to have a really awkward looking articulation joint, which is awful. The other, only other two articulation points are the arms, which are hindered by the back plates, surprisingly enough. And that's the, all the articulation you're going to get out of this thing. Uh, and bad balance, because Bandai Vinyl does not age. Sizing wise, what is really there to say? It is a it is your standard run of the mill ultra kaiju figure. So if you really want to, we can compare him with his predecessor. We can compare him with Zeton, or my custom modded Zeton too. Uh, obviously there's not any any size comparison to be had because this guy wasn't even you know graced with going to uh, the the kaiju battle games, which is lame. It's like why all the other you know fan designed kaiju went in there. You know, let's say, Andro the Killer Mecha Bolton, EX Voxham, Kabuto the Killer. We had all of these amazing designs going in there, and we don't have this guy in there. It's like, why? It's just lame. Ultra Hero Series comparison? Well, let's bring in my Bay again. We can bring in uh, Terranoid all we want. Uh, it's still oversized. 
Want to try anything else? Let's try a couple of 500 figures because why not? That's the, that's the range nowadays, isn't it? Raycubus looks okay, I guess. Um, Zeton 2 again. Looks okay. There's not a lot of comparison to be had. Let's try a uh, oh, UMS figure. No, Monsarger looks okay. Super COV looks like a nice matchup with them, I guess. And uh, for Ultra Axe, we'll just try Gaia again because Gaia squats. And we need a squatting Ultra Axe figure to even do anything nowadays in this day and age. And nope. Well, yeah, kind of. Uh, I don't think Fire Zeton's tall enough for this, but whatever. And after all that complaining, what does this guy get? You knew from the start, it's a 3 out of 5! Because there is not a lot to desire with this figure. It is a underrepresented kaiju from some stupid artistic Grand Prix that Bandai t t put out and I guess to try and pump some last minute blood into the, uh, the Ultra Monster series before it went out and died. In any case, if you can find this guy for under $15, I'd recommend picking it up with a tag. Now, if you can find it you know, at any lower price and you like this design, then pick it up as well. Be, but be warned, it doesn't do a lot. It's not a really meaningful figure in any means, and by any means, and that's about it. Alright, so I hope you liked this review, and I'll see you guys later.